Good evening, YouTubers. This is Darren and Pop Culture Nut. Uh, Grace is on and off all these uh, concerts. She's doing the Wonderfront Festival right now. Uh, she's had a very busy fall, so uh, that's probably why she's not back in school. She, she's being homeschooled right now because she's extraordinarily busy with writing songs and touring and, and doing all this fun stuff. Uh, speaking of writing songs, uh, she has another song called Overrated, which she just, just sort of, well, she played it at a, at a concert for the first time, probably a couple days ago. And she had an interesting reaction to it too. I'm going to let her speak for herself and then do a review. I'm going to, I'm going to do a re this is a review of a song called Overrated. Uh, I've already watched the opening uh, speech by Grace here. So I have, I'm, I'm definitely going to say something about that once, just before, she, as she starts to sing. But let's just let her say it first. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so I just released an EP. Yeah. But many people don't know that to do that, you have to write, like... 40 million songs, that's an exaggeration, but like 40 songs for like a four song EP. So I have so many songs, um, and most of them I hate and they're trash, but this one is slightly less trash, and I really like it, um, but it's unreleased, so it's called Overrated, and I hope you like it. Okay, that little speech she just gave spoke volumes. Uh, she spoke about writing all these extra songs, and that speaks. To, that makes me think that perhaps her label has been bugging her to release new stuff, which is a. It's good and it's bad because it's good because it's, it's she's releasing new stuff, but it's bad because it's putting pressure on her to write crappy songs, and well, that she that's what she felt. And did you notice in that video how there was one guy who kept saying no and want her to sing all the songs? This guy sounds like he's about to have a mental breakdown <laughs> because of what Grace said about the crappy songs. Uh, I guess you could use this as an example of why not to, why not, okay, of why you shouldn't put somebody on a pedestal. Like, uh, Yes, Grace is a fantastic singer songwriter, but I don't. I personally don't put her on a pedestal. She's human, like anybody else. She's fallible. She makes mistakes. Why is that so bad? Why are there a group of people out there that will, that will crucify me for saying that? She's human, just like Deanna Aklanova sings about. So putting people on, on pedestals just make puts more pressure on them. I, I don't like that. Uh, Treat them as a person, and don't put pressure on them. Just let them do what they got to do. So, here we go. We're going to listen to the song. I haven't heard this yet, so this will be a treat. Okay, I like this song so far. Uh, it's slow to start, but another thing I have thinking in my head here. Uh, when Grace is writing her songs, does she ever involve 
Melissa Daldry. I wonder if she ever involves her because that would give her some guidance there. Because it, it, it seems like if it's all Grace writing the songs, then that seems to be a lot of pressure. Sorry about these spots on my camera. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, we'll get back to it. Okay, we just had a jazz horn start up there. That was that was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Grace is getting into jazz. Hmm. A jazzier sound. That's interesting. Okay, uh, <clears throat> my take on this is that if Grace were to work on this, this song a bit more, like she did with, with Clearly, I think uh, she can improve it. As we, as we, uh, I'm, I'm talking about Clearly because I, I watched a video one time of, uh, of how, of, uh, I think it covers a year or so span after and it shows her development of Clearly, how it changed and how it was perfected. Uh, again, if Grace were to work on this song and and add stuff to it, maybe take some stuff away. I do like the trump, the the horn, the jazzier section. That was that was nice. I really like that. Uh, she would have an awesome song. We could have we could be looking at the next Clearly. Anyway, uh, until then, you have a good night. Bye.